Welcome, AP students. I wanted to uh, take a quick uh, moment to do the bell work that I had assigned yesterday. Uh, there was uh, quite a number of misses on this particular question, and I wanted to break it down for you and talk about it a little bit. So here was the problem, and it wrote out the uh, reaction for you. So you have water in the gaseous state plus methane reacting to form three hydrogen gas and one uh, mole of carbon dioxide. It told you that the Kc value, the concentration is 4.7. The equilibrium, the Kc is 4.7. It told you the vessel that all this was placed in, all these gases were placed in a 2.5 liter. Then it gave you a little bit more information. It said that uh, hydrogen gas is 1.7 moles, carbon dioxide is 0 0.60 moles, uh, water vapor is 0 0.20 moles, and the methane is 0 0.50 moles. All right, so you're given that and it's asked, is this in equilibrium or is it gonna be product driven or reactant driven? So it left you uh, sort of up in the air as far as where you're at. So what you were gonna do is calculate your reaction quotient Q. So this would be Q of C. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna write this down. I'm gonna go Q for C and that's gonna equal. So I'm gonna have the concentration of H2 and I have this right here. I can never forget my coefficients. A lot of times I'm dealing with one, so I don't need to do anything with it, but that's a three. So I have to come up here and cube that. Then I have the concentration of CO2 divided by the concentration of H2O times the concentration of CH4. All right, now I'm ready to solve, but here is the problem. I am given moles. Yes, I understand truly that this is a gas. And you may think that, well, it is uh, moles and it gave me a pressure in the problem. It, it gave the, the uh, temperature was a thousand and some degrees Celsius. Well, remember this Kc value is specific to the temperature that you're given. So you don't need to use the uh, ideal gas law. This is specific. So well, another point that you got to remember is that this is Kc. It is not given to you as the uh, partial pressures. They didn't give it to you or set it up in that regard. They gave it to you as the concentration. I know it's a gas, but you must divide the moles by the liters. Same thing you would do if you were talking about a solution. And I understand it's not a solution, it's a gas, but you must do this in order to solve these kind of problems. So I have to change all of these moles into molarity in order to plug this in because this is talking about concentration. So I'm just gonna come right over here and I'm gonna do each one of these. So I'm gonna go H2 uh, concentration, I'm just gonna concentration of H2 is gonna equal 1.7 divided by. 2.5. Then I'm going to go CO2, that's the concentration, is going to be 0 0.60 divided by 2.5. Then I have my concentration of H2O, it's going to be 0 0.20 divided by 2.5. And then I have my concentration of CH4 is going to equal 0 0.50 divided by 2.5. That's gonna equal. So if I get my handy calculator out here, I'm going to plug these in. So if I plug, I gotta be, and I have to be at two sig figs, I can't have any more than that. So if I go for my hydrogen, so I have 1.7 divided by 2.5, so this is gonna equal 0.6, Eight molar. Then I have 0 0.60 divided by 2.5. So this here is going to equal 
0.24 molar. Then I have my H2O, so I have 0 0.20 divided by 2.5, and that's going to be 0 0.080. 0 0.080 molar. And then lastly, I have 0 0.5 divided by 2.5, and that's going to equal 0 0.20 molar. All right, so now I can, I can actually solve this now. So now I'm gonna plug these things in. So H2 is uh, 0.68, so I'm gonna have 0.68, and that's gonna be cubed times CO2, which is 0.24, so 0.24 divided by H2O, which is going to be 0 0.080. And uh, the methane is going to be 0 0.20. And that's going to all equal my QC. So I get my calculator again. So this time I go 0 0.68, and this is going to be cubed. times 0.24, and I'm going to divide that by parentheses 0 0.080 times 0 0.20, and uh, that's going to be equal to, and I get two sig figs, 4.7. So, QC equals 4.7. So, my KC equals 4.7. So my justification, please remember, you have to justify. So when you're asking a question, you have to give some uh, tangible evidence. If you just say agreed or, for example, this, if I just put equilibrium, I'm not going to get the full credit because I have to justify why. And the simple explanation is this. I could write down Q of C equals K of C. and Q equals K at equilibrium when the reaction is in a state of equilibrium. So that's how and why I can say that this whole thing is in equilibrium and I need to justify. So for example, this one here was in equilibrium. Well, maybe it was not. Maybe it was a different uh, problem and I needed to draw my line and I put my K value, whether it's KC or KP, and then maybe my Q is up here. If Q is there, then it's going to be reactant driven and you have to specify that. If Q was less than K, it would be product driven. And when Q equals K, it is in equilibrium. And that is your justification. So. I have a molar uh, solubility problem for today. So please make sure you look, I did a problem similar to that one uh, on the last virtual lesson. So please take a look at that. Uh, thank you for watching this video. I'm gonna be posting short uh, free response style questions and uh, work them out uh, on the next uh, several videos that I'll be posting. So. I'll see all of you at noon on our live Zoom call. So uh, actually, I think it's one o'clock I scheduled it for. So uh, thank you for watching this explanation on a free response question. Go in peace.